Good morning, what about you? It's wee Paddy from Across the Shock. Now, I'm going to let you hear a sound. And if you hadn't read the title, you have to pretend. It's my game. This would just give away what this knife was. Wouldn't it? It's lovely. It's the rat. One. The larger of the two rats. Ontario Knife Company. The rat one. And it has been a workhorse for knife users, knife reviewers. It's probably the most used knife to give a size comparison in the YouTube community. This and the smaller one. But this is the one I was given. I was given this and I was given another knife, which I'll not sort of give away now, by Steve Clover. And I know there's an awful lot of you know him out there. Awful, awful nice fella. I don't I don't even know the fella that well. And to be honest with you, he donated the two knives to the channel. And they're two great knives. This is a great knife. The other one is a beautiful knife as well. And I'll do a review of it very shortly. As I've said, I'm so far behind. And Steve's never once said, are you going to do it? Are you going to show it? Are you going to? Not once. Not even give a hint of it. But I just want to thank him so much for his patience. Um, I think I got a bit swamped there for a while with having to make videos and get the stuff to make the videos. And now I've sort of settled down into a wee routine. I can catch up again now. But let me tell you, this is beautiful. Now... At the moment, out there at the moment, there's the what they call the new Rat 2s. A Rat 2 and a Rat 1. This one has D2 steel. This one has Oz8. This one and its bigger brother now, both with D2. Everybody's saying, what wonderful knives you are. Go out and buy them. They're the best there is. With that D2 steel, for $40 knives, you couldn't beat them. Fine, I agree with that. That little rat too with D2 is beautiful. This big rat one with Oz8 is every single bit as beautiful. Would I go and change this for a rat one in D2? My honest answer, no. Why would I? Why would I? I bought this knife, or if I'd have bought, if I'd have bought this knife, but this knife was given to me. Why would I want to change it? Because they brought D2 out, it hasn't changed what this knife has been for years as part of the community. I haven't seen a whole lot of these wore out through, you know, complete and utter sharpening and having to sharpen every other day. Because you don't. Aussie, excuse me, Aussie is a great steel. As a working man steel, it's great. How many, how many times have you seen big, bad oh, recurves in blades where people have been constantly having to sharpen them? Because I've never seen one. Maybe there is some out there, but I've never seen one. This is a blooming good work knife. I love it. And I will not be changing it to D2. If and when this comes to the end of its life, yes, Without a doubt, I wouldn't go and replace it with an Oz8 one. I would replace it with a D2. Because the one thing you're going to have to say with this company, unlike most companies out there, when they upgraded, they added maybe a couple of bucks to the price of the knives, if any at all. There's not many companies do that. And that's a big upgrade from Oz8 to D2. So... The D2 is smashing. There's no doubt about it. It makes this wee knife, especially this one, a wee brilliant EDC knife that can do anything now with that D2 steel. You're not going to worry about it. But you didn't have to worry about the Aussie. These two are some of the best sellers of any company in the world. These two have been the mainstay for, for knife users for years. So... Do I like this? I absolutely love it. And Steve sent me it. And I, I don't know whether he even knew I had the I'd always said I wanted a rat, but I hadn't pulled a... a let's, let's just go back, take a wee step back. Over here in Northern Ireland, we didn't get the opportunity to see all these knives when I was growing up. We didn't have them. Uh, ours was... Northern Ireland especially was a country that was a lot of troubles. 
you just couldn't get away with carrying knives. The knife laws over here are stupid anyway. But during the Troubles, you couldn't get away with what you can around the rest of the world. So I never seen all these bucks and the, and the Ontarios and the spider coos. Never even heard of them. Never heard of them until I got into bushcraft. And that's when they start to see the overlap when bushcrafters would show you knives off. And then I got interested in YouTube. And then I started to see all these models. So for years now, I've been looking from afar, but I've never held most of them. In fact, nearly all of them have now, until the ones I've got now. I started off with Ganzos that were lookalikes of ones. I'm now lucky enough to have the most generous subs that have donated knives to this channel that I would never have got or never had the chance to feel or use. So let me tell you, this here, I'm speaking from an outsider sort of point of view. If you've got one of these, why the heck would you want to change it? Because, I mean, I have used this about this house. I have carried this because it's quite a heavy knife, but it's slim in the pocket. It's slim in the pocket. Which is the difference. I've just reviewed another knife. It was big and broad. This one isn't. But it just works great. And to sharpen it. If you know Aussie, you get a wicked edge in Aussie. So, I mean, I would have no problems using this for everyday use. I, again, I said it in the other knife. This is a workshop knife. This is a, a, a bricky, a carpenter out on doing the trades. Any of the trades would love this in their toolbox or in their pocket because it'll get the job done. And yes, you might have to sharpen it a wee bit more than they do. But so what? Learn how to sharpen it. It'll take you. All it gets a, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you'll have a really good working edge back in this. That's all. And it's a tool. It's like any other of your tools. You get them covered in oil, you clean them off. If a knife goes blunt, you sharpen it. I mean, that's just my philosophy. I don't understand why you wouldn't want to know how to do that you know it's no point buying a Porsche and not know how to drive again Stevens <laughs> this is Stevens rant uh, you know it is it seems to me pointless I just don't understand it you know just you don't have to be that good don't be frightened of it just learn this is a beauty and um, I'm just going to measure it. For those that maybe didn't have it, because I didn't have it for sure, I wouldn't have known what size it was. It is, my goodness, eight and five eighths long. That's a big knife. The cutting edge is, th my goodness, sorry, the, yeah, where's the cutting edge? Let's get the cutting edge. Just do the cutting edge. It's just under three and a half inches cutting edge. But it's three and three quarters from the the end of the knife to the tip of the blade. Oh, well, to better do it in this, these metric chaps, that is about 22 centimetres long. And the cutting edge is about eight and a half. So it's a long knife. How thick is the blade on the knife, you say? I heard you saying that there, so I'm going to tell you. It's 2.6 millimetres. And in oh, inches, that is 0 0.10 in inches. Now you say, what, where is it, Stephen? Well, I'm going to tell you. Paddy will even tell you. <laughs> Let's get it on there. Get it on. Marvin Gaye, was that? I don't know. Um, now, grams. It is 141 grams. Oh, I'll put that back down there. Change it to the proper measurement. Five inches exactly. So that is not an over heavy knife. I, I thought it was a bit more than that. I don't know why I thought that. But listen. Look at that. That, that just says it all. What a well balanced knife. Just watch this come out. You hardly have to push it. It's an upward movement and it just shoots out. Nearly every time. It's hard to feel doing it. Well, you see, it'll fail. <laughs> no, it's very easy. It's a lovely knife. Lovely action. Um, not that many moving parts that's going to worry you. You can take it apart. You can clean it. It's easy to take apart. Be a bit careful with the screws. But I would say that with any knife. You know, be careful with screws. Because no matter how good they say they are, um, them wee sixes can run off very quickly. 
Sorry, I'm putting all my grubby fingerprints. So what's it like? This is where I'm going to go back to my beginning in, in the knife world. Um, let's put that there. This was what I got. And it wasn't that long. This is what I got. It wasn't that long ago that I got it. This is the Ganzo copy. A rough copy of the Rat 1. Now, let's do it like this again. I like to put them on top and then you get a real... The depth perception's not. No, let's just see. It's much shorter. It's a good half an inch shorter, but the butt. It's a good half an inch shorter. And funny, I've never ever seen a rat with a an access lock, but this one has. Doesn't sound like the rat, does it? It just not. It's not got that same snap as the rat. So, and here's the rat too. Listen to this. Exactly the same as Big Daddy. Exactly the same. And it's such a small little EDC. And look at that. But the butt, that's where it goes. So this is the perfect little in-pocket EDC if you're going to do light work. If you're going to go out and you're a working man and you're going to do a day's work, this is what you want. If you want a knife to put in a toolbox, this is the knife. If you want a knife for your garage, for your workshop, uh, for anything like that, this is the knife for it. And there's there's a big choice out there now of knives to get. And you can go in and you can spend more money on a big hefty knife. And you can get this D2 uh, tool steel. You can get that on the blades now. And maybe you're paying, maybe not more than this. But do you know something? I wonder how many of them will be as round, will be around as long as this has been. I wonder how many of them will have done the things this knife has done. This is like the old warrior. This is like the old boy. He's done his 22 years. He's coming to the end of his service, but he's still going. He's still got it. And that's what this knife has. It's a just a renowned company for making knives. Their, their QC is great. Because there's not much wrong with any of them. Uh, they all seem to come pretty well. I haven't heard that many people um, complain about them. The handles are not G10. It's like a plastic. And I heard people saying it was slippy. Well, do you know what it is? There and there is a bit slippy. But you see, when you put your hand around it, you're not going anywhere. You're just not going anywhere. That is as comfortable a grip and as secure a grip as you're going to get. If that isn't good enough for you, boy, you're struggling to find a knife because to me, that's a work knife and I would never worry about my hand slipping up there. Never. I wouldn't worry about slipping at all, even in the Vaseline factory. Somebody else says that. You can sneak up here. This is not meant to be, but you can sneak up here with plenty of room. Look at the room you've got from here to here where you can get your finger. That's the you know, meat of my finger right on and look at the difference. I'm not near the blade. So I can sneak up. I can sneak up this way as well and get it right up to the end of the knife and use it for smaller tasks. So, is Ozzyate a bad steel? No. These, these steels are not bad overnight. You know, years ago they were great steels. They don't go bad overnight. This is great. But don't get me wrong, D2 is brilliant and I'm glad they're moving ahead. But just because they're moving ahead doesn't mean the old one is crap all of a sudden. And that's sometimes we get that frame of mind where we're thinking, oh, I need the D2 now. This, this is done. Why, why is it done? You had it in your hand using it and somebody said there's D2 so it's no good anymore. Nonsense. It's a great knife. If when it's finished, when it's done its day, yeah, change out by all means. But there's no need to change out now. No need whatsoever. Pocket clip. Good enough pocket clip. Deep enough. Um, I think you can get the deep carry if you want them. But this is a work knife. It's not something I'd be worrying about a deep carry. Thumb studs are great on it. Just everything about it. I, I You know, I can't find. It's on uh, brass uh, bronze washers. But it just shoots out. It's the way it shoots out. That sound is Ontario. Rat 1 and 2. 
that sound is them. You can hear it from a mile off. So, not one to kill a dead donkey. I'm away. Thank you so much for listening. Again, enjoy your Aussie ape, and then go to your D2 after you've wore the knife out. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. All the best, Paddy.